I really feel like this guy's, you know, that's how I really feel. But put your head up, put on a bit of makeup, and it's gone. Hello, hello, my gorgeous queens. How are you all going today? Today, guys, I want to share with you how I got this amazing, awesome base. I'm all about the base these days, okay? The base is so important. The skin is, you know, it's just so important. Your skin has to look really, really great. Especially at my age, guys. I'm 47, okay? And I've got a great product to show you guys. Makeup Forever, guys. This new HD Skin uh, Face Sculpting Palette. I'm in love. I'm in love. I've been using it all week, guys, just to underpaint, and I want to share it with you guys. It's quick. It's easy. Anyone can do it. And it just looks, I mean, my skin just looks really great. And I've had shit sleep, guys. Like, honestly, I have not had a very good morning. I got up at 3 o'clock this morning and I'm tired. Went to the gym. And I just love this palette, guys. I want to share with you how I did this awesome base today. It's so quick, easy, everything. It's fast, guys. So if you want to check out how I got this awesome, awesome skin today, guys, hold them up. Mwah! And honestly, guys, when I wear this makeup combination or base combination, my skin is flawless. Flawless, you will see. So what I'm talking about, guys, is the new Makeup Forever um, HD Skin Palette Sculpting. <laughs> Shit, I really need some context, eh? <laughs> Sorry, my peeps. HD, the Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette so what I'm talking about, guys, is the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette Sculpt. <laughs> so what I'm talking about, guys, is the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette. It's the HD Face Sculpting Palette. I love this. It's it's beautiful. Let me show you how I use it under my foundation, eh? Just to get that flawless base. It's so quick. I used it yesterday, guys, and my makeup look took only 10 minutes amazing let me share this with you guys i love to share all of these great things and amazing things with you guys so that you can also look great too and this is a really good one and it is like that these are the lovely you know sculpting they're pretty much concealers guys okay you can use them any way you like you've got highlighters down here a couple of highlighters this is your concealer part you know bronzers. I've been going for this section up here. Um, I wanted to show you the other Makeup for, for makeup Forever palettes that I have too, just quickly. So I've also got this. These are the foundation ones. Wasn't a huge fan actually of this one guys. It was pretty oily on the skin. That's the only reason why I really haven't really dipped into it. I only used it twice, but I still need to give it a go. Not... Mm, it just felt very, very oily on the skin when I try to use those ones there as foundations. So this is another different palette as well. It's the HD Skin Palette <laughs> All-in-One Face Palette. These are great. They contain blushes, your concealers up here, blushes, highlighters. Great little palette, guys. Great. Again, I kind of feel a little, a little bit oily. I haven't really dipped into this one. I'm going to use the blush. This is the lightest one. And then I also have the dark one in the same as well, in the same HD all-in-one face palette. But I love the colour of these blushes, man, they're awesome. But the one that I really, really, really love is this one. This one here, the face sculpting one, eh? And I'm going to show you how I create that flawless, top-notch base this morning, quickly and effortlessly. Hey, my peeps, so I've already primed my face. Um, I used, what did I use? What did I use? So I already primed my face this morning, guys, using this beautiful Tarte Poreless Primer. It's amazing. Really, really, really great one, guys. I mean, I, I just kind of, you know, I've got all these primers and I'm always reaching for this one all the time. So let's dig in. Um, it's not going to be a long video, guys. Get yourself a, a flattish brush. Any brush you want. You know, if you don't own a lot of brushes, guys, use whatever you have, okay? I've got this one here, it's kind of pointed, you know, Real Techniques is amazing. 
they're amazing they have these kind of you know special ones for the concealer and everything like that you don't own many brushes guys just use what you have so what we're basically doing today guys is we're going to highlight and bronze okay so light and then dark and i'll show you how amazing this palette is Yesterday's look was very fast. I'm gonna try and make it fast today, but I've gotta stop. You know, I've gotta stop fucking talking, eh, guys, in these videos. I mean, maybe I should do a voiceover. Grab this beautiful palette here, guys, and I like to dip into this lightest one here. It looks very, very white. It's kind of a light pink. It is actually a very, very, very light pink. So I'm gonna go with that one first. But let's just get that really light one under the eyes. I'll show you how amazing it looks. Lift it high, okay? If you're my age, I'm 47 now, guys. Bring it right up, you know, to lift. And that's so nice. I mean, you're looking at it thinking, oh my gosh, it's white. You wait. You wait. Get some more on. Do the other one. Right under the eye. Lift it right up, guys. Right up, eh? Because it's going to bring your face up. The dimensions are amazing. I love this color. And I like to share everything that's great with you guys. Put it on top of your eyelids as well. A nice light shade. Anywhere else we want to highlight, I like to do up here, just a tad. What we're looking for, guys, is dimension in the face. You know, we don't want a flat face, we want to look amazing, right? I like to also put a bit here. Just to lift, kind of lift my face a little bit. You can even go like this, guys, a little bit here, and if you want to carve out those cheeks, a bit more here, and just kind of go like that. This is a great way of lifting the face up, eh? I did do this yesterday. Put the remainder down here. Very easy, guys, honestly, with this palette. Super easy. Okay, we've done that part. So that's the highlight part done. I know you're thinking, what a freaking clown. Wait. Use the same brush, and what I do is I just kind of turn it over. If you don't want to, you can just wipe off your brush if you're not sure. Now, I like to go into the darker one here, and I went into this one here. So this is gonna be our bronzer part, yeah? Or contour, if you wanna call it, call it that. Get some on your brush. And then we're going to do the dark part. So, up here, to lift my peeps, there's cheeks. If you're younger, you can go wherever you want. But when you're my age, you know, we want high, high, not too high. Okay, here. make sure it's even you know as much as you can up here as well love this palette really love this palette put quite a bit of bronzer on it because you do want it to show through the foundation do your jawline here go right from the ears if you can and just slightly under. Now this just chisels it out the face. Great option, guys, if you've got like um, a double chin or anything. Makeup is amazing. And you don't need to be too precise either, guys, because we're going to be, you know, adding the foundation on top. You could do your nose. I'm not gonna do my nose today. I don't, I don't really want to be, you know, I don't contour my nose every bloody day, guys. I'm a normal person, okay? normal person with this one. This is exactly what we want guys, okay? So we will now choose foundation. Now when you choose your foundation guys, it does have to be 
may I say it, um, not a totally full, full coverage foundation, okay? You can add that, but you, but that means you're just obviously not going to see too much of this gorgeous underpainting that we've done. So I, I've got a great one. I am so resolute. <laughs> Trying to professional canang. I really love these Dior Forever Skin Glow ones, man. That's amazing. I reach for these, you know, when I'm looking like crap. These make me look amazing. You would never, ever, ever, ever know that I had a bad night. So this is a beautiful, this one. And it's the Dior Skin Glow. Dior Forever Skin Glow. And then I have the matte one here, which is just forever matte. 3N and that one 3W. I don't know why. Medium coverage. But I think, you know, they could kind of lean on full. Well, yeah, I don't know. Some days they look like full. But yeah, you don't want to be using something massively heavy like that KVD or uh, you know what I mean. Just nothing, nothing too freaking full coverage. Put four pumps on to start. Get my little sponge in there. I'm gonna do this in my mirror. Now you want to put the foundation on the white parts first. Okay, well on the parts that have nothing. But you can just go straight into this here and just bounce it. I mean, you don't want to be rubbing it, okay? Because you'll be rubbing everything off. Just bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. Okay, now we can hit those brown parts. Get one more pump on. Once you're happy with that, just get what's left over on your hand and kind of just bounce around. those crevices there guys anywhere you might have forgot I forgot to tell you turn that turn it to the cleaner part when you do this step because you don't want that bronzer mixing in with the um oh shit I put that here you don't want that bronzer mixing in with the beautiful highlighted parts eh gross it's just a waste of time my peeps good thing about these sponges is that they do soak up the excess product you know what do you think can you see that bit of bronzer coming through? The highlighted underneath your eyes. I love this technique using this Makeup Forever palette, guys. The thing about this beautiful palette here is that it's just so convenient. Boom, boom, boom. Look at my flawless base. Now that would have only taken me a few minutes um, if I wasn't talking to you guys. And that's what I mean. You can see the my under eyes are a bit more, you know, brighter than the rest. Bit of bronzer. You can see the bronzing effect under there. And obviously, you know, you will add on, if you wanted to, a little bit more bronzer and everything like that. Now, I love it to dry down a bit more before, before I do anything else, but I am so happy, guys, with this flawless, flawless base. I mean, even my hyperpigmentation, you know, even though I didn't color correct or spot conceal. Another good thing, guys, is, you know, if you really want a truly flawless base, is to spot conceal first or do the corrector. Um, I didn't even do that today. You just saw it, and it's just so nice. And the longevity of it, guys, it's not oily. My skin was amazing all day, and that would probably be due to the actual setting spray as well, because it's so that's what I'm looking like, guys. Let me get my face done um, and put on the rest of my makeup and then I will show you the finished result, eh? Okay, my peeps, hello, I'm back. So I've done Kosas Bronzer. Where are you? Love this one, guys. It's amazing. Just a little bit, just a tad today, just to enhance that, you know, that cheekbone. And I also use the lovely P. Louise palette, this one here, which is called Beneath the sheets. This is a beautiful one. Really, really nice. Love P. Louise palettes, guys. It was very, very fast. I'm not into doing a really amazing eye look today. You know, I'm just going to work. But I did want to do some blush with you guys, okay, with the other Makeup Forever palette because I've hardly touched it. <laughs> it would be nice to actually, you know, get in there. So we've got the darker one here. And I am going to go, I think, for... 
don't want anything too much today, okay? Because it's all about the skin. Let's go for this one. This one here. Looks nice. Let's see how pigmented it is. Not too bad. Not too bad, my paints. Let's try it. Let's try a bit of the highlighter, right? Eh? I haven't used the highlighter in the sculpting palette yet. Just a little bit. Why not? It's there. I'm going to go for the champagne gold one here in the highlighting section. Put a bit up here. Whoa. Whoa, that's nice. I can't see it in my mirror here because it's so freaking far away. But it looks, oh wow. Oh wow. That is beautiful. Woo, just enough guys. Wow, that's gorgeous. A little bit down the nose. Oh, that's so good. Wow, look at that. That was this gold one here, guys. I love it. Spray the face, and we're done. Uh, since we're on the Makeup Forever vibe, I'm gonna go for the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Spray. Let's get this on, let me test the spray out. Ooh, very fine, let's go. Whew. Very wet, very wet my peeps. The sprayer on there is not as fine, you know, as the Charlotte Tilbury one or the Hourglass Veil. Check me out. <laughs> but sometimes with those uh, setting sprays, guys, you just all you need to do is just clean the cap. That's what I found. Get a clean part of your sponge and just kind of tap that setting spray in everywhere. If you can't fan it, I might do it like this. That is very weird. No worries. Keeping it positive, my pants. Push it in. The longevity. Gently though, right? You don't want to be removing anything. It's there. Under the eyes I like to do in the crinkly, crinkly, wrinkly part. <laughs> And that's us. Okay, my peeps, we are done, we are done. What do you think of this amazing base? What do you think Makeup Forever did? I love it. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you would never believe that that white, you know, white one <laughs> would make such a huge difference. It's just absolutely flawless. Yeah, and I don't feel the best today either, guys. Now, for Lippy today, what am I going to there? I'll show you what I've been enjoying. This Jizzo lip oil, man. Ugh, it's beautiful. It's yellow. Love this. I'm so into my lip oils and stuff. No lip liner. It gives your lips a bit of a yellow tinge, which is beautiful. you know putting honey on your lips and of course like other lip oils and stuff it doesn't last long oh look at that see that little tint of yellow amazing stuff man I love it everything will be linked below guys but what did you think of, where is it? <laughs> Mix them up with all the others. So what did you guys think of this awesome Makeup Forever palette, man? The HD Skin Sculpting, Face Sculpting palette. I, I love it. I think it's, it's freaking great. It's a staple now in my little, well, oh, in my kit. I'm not a makeup artist, guys. <laughs> On my drawer, you know, I'm gonna keep it here forever it's a different formula to those foundation ones it's really 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 nice as you can see guys beautiful under the foundation remember though don't put on a really heavy heavy thick thick um full coverage foundation if you want to underpaint like this because eh? you probably won't see it beautiful palette guys highly recommend this highly 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 recommend this one for make it forever They've got so many great products. All right, my peeps. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look in this little tutorial. Oh, <laughs> I really needed to share that with you and show you how I've been doing my makeup over the past three days. <laughs> and it's just been so fast, flawless, man. Check that. 
and I felt like crap this morning guys honestly I'm not you know I'm just tired but thank you I love you guys stay positive my peeps don't let anyone get to you find positivity we are positive guys get those haters out of here boom I love you and I'll catch you on my next one